Right, Joanna, this is the bottle that your lovely mother has given you, your Yumi. I'm going to show you how it works. I'll do everything to begin with and then you can have a practice later um, when I'm gone. Hoik it out. These are the instructions that come with it. They're really simple and right. they're very clear, but I will talk you through it anyway. Okay. So this is the bottle. Great shape. Um, the teat, although I said to you that I don't believe in nipple teat confusion, I actually think it is quite a good idea to have a teat that's vaguely breast shaped. Yeah. And it's nice and soft, so which I find babies really like. The bottle is BPA free, oh, which right. again is what most mothers want nowadays. Yeah. And do you see it's actually clear? Yes, because a lot of them are funny sort of brown colour, aren't they? They it's are. It's not very nice. And the trouble with being sort of brownish is a lot of mothers think they're a bit grubby, but that yeah. you can see is really clear. Okay. To dismantle the top, just put it on the, the work surface and yeah. push with your fingers like that. This is your heating element. This is the teat. Um, so when you're sterilising, you take it all to pieces yeah. like this. That, when you first buy the uh, bottle, that will be orange. Right. Which normally means that it's fully charged. But when right. you first get it, it won't be fully yeah. charged. And you can tell that because if you rattle it, if you shake it like that, you won't hear a rattle. Right. When it is ready to go, you not only will it be orange, but when you shake it, you'll Ooh. hear a rattle. Okay. Okay. So you dismantle it like this. When you're washing it prior to the first use and every other use, it's really simple. Although it's got lots of grooves in the heating element, they're not that deep. So just get a basin of hot soapy water, give, put everything in it, give them all a good wash, mm -hmm. rinse them, just the same as you would with any other bottle. And then when it comes to sterilising it, you need a saucepan of hot water. Right. And you need to boil it for 25 minutes of it actual boiling and the quickest and most efficient way to do it is to boil the kettle first and then get your saucepan put the element in and make sure you put it on its side if right. you put it standing like that the soft bottom can get damaged so on its side and if you're doing several obviously you put a whole mass in yeah um pour the boiling water on until the the element is completely covered so make sure it's right up to the brim. Now the water's in, mm -hmm. turn it on to boil. And once the water is boiling, then you start the timing, 25 minutes from when the water's actually boiling. And what I find quite useful is just using a simple timer like this to remind you when you've done the full 20 minutes. And you just turn it to 25 minutes, and then when it finishes, it rings like that. And if you take it with you, wherever you are in the house, you'll hear it, and you'll know to come and turn the saucepan off. Okay. I'm going to show you now how to use um, the heater, and I keep calling it a heater, but actually the great thing about it is it's a warmer, so you will not burn the baby, your hands or anything. So every time I refer to it as a heater, remember <laughs> technically it's a warmer. When you're actually preparing the bottle for the feed, once it's boiled and the water's cooled down, you take the heater out. Put, stand it on a clean bit of surface because it will be sterile. So obviously wash, yeah. your, wash your hands before you take the heater out. Yeah. The actual assembling is very easy. Just get that collar, put it over the teat and just click down. You don't actually need to touch the teat itself and ideally you don't. Yeah. Then you put that over the heating element or I should say warming element and then you just screw it into the bottle making sure you've got a good seal. That's the top, so if you're travelling around, you um, that keeps the top clean. Yeah. Put your breast milk in there, mm -hmm. or formula, obviously, if you're using it for that. And then all you have to do, once you've got the milk in and the top on, is just click the button like that, and then it starts heating. And how long does it take to 60 heat? seconds. Really? Literally. It is true. It is really? 60 seconds. I know. You might sort of think that's a wild thing, but it that's isn't. That's brilliant. 60 seconds. Right. And then what happens is when you start feeding the baby, the milk goes over the element and only then is it heated. So the oh. milk standing down here is right. not being heated. So you feed the baby and you just put the bottle in the baby's mouth like any other bottle. And... Because it's only heated as it goes over the element, the faster the baby sucks, the quicker the milk gets heated. The slower she sucks, 
the slower it heats. Right. And then when you stand the bottom like that, when you're burping the baby or something, it stops heating the milk. Right, that's very clever. And it stays hot for an hour. The element the stays element working for right. an hour, so you can spend really quite a long time on the feed. Normally, you'd hope it takes far less yeah. than, than an hour, but yeah. that is the simple way it works. That really couldn't that's be easier. That's brilliant. It's a nice shape as well, isn't it? It is. It's kind of, yeah, yeah it's something very yeah. neat and compact. It well, looks like a bosom on a bottle. I mean, it really does. <laughs> well, I would agree with you on that. It's it does. Brilliant. It does. Um, and the shape is great because having a nice wide um, top to it, mm. if you're just putting breast milk in, then obviously you don't need it. But if you are using formula, mm. it's a nice big yeah. um, opening for yeah. making up the formula. This is for a baby Lydia's age. Yeah. Um, starting bottle. If you're using it for an older baby, there is another bottle that's nine ounces. Right, okay. The other thing is, you can use this bottle without the heating element. Right. And incidentally, do you see, although this is hot, have a feel. It was it's not easy to have. You. No, it's not, not going to burn you. So no. that will heat, or I should say warm the feed to the perfect temperature, but it will not burn your hands. No. And it won't burn the baby, or if your toddlers or anyone else are touching right. it, it's totally, totally safe. Okay. So if you want to use the bottle without the heater, you just use it like a normal bottle. Right. Just screw it together, put the milk perfect. in, and it works perfectly. I noticed it says something about the, um, the vents or something, yep. that yep. it's... Um... It's... All the things that other bottles claim to do, this foul. does, exactly. So it has all the things. It's BPA-free. It's per Well, in fact, it's better than others in that the shape of the teeth I, yeah. I really like. But it has the anticholic valves on the side, which right. is great if you do have a slightly windy baby. Yeah. Um, that's all there is to it.